The Green Law March is the longest and largest youth conservation movement in the history of China. But how did it get there? It got there by mobilizing youth conservation groups and associations across the country, offering them a platform so that their work in environmental protection could be heard locally, nationally, and internationally. In 2007, the Green Law March began as a concept, and in a few short months, it translated itself into a nationwide movement inspiring thousands of students and impacting millions more nationwide. On Earth Day and on World Environment Day, thousands of university student volunteers across China go to public places to conduct environmental education and awareness campaigns. In supermarkets, volunteers encourage customers to use an alternative to disposable plastic bags. Awareness activities also occur in outdoor public places, like this one in the Beijing Botanical Gardens. In local primary schools, Green Long March volunteers help to raise environmental awareness, building a solid foundation at an early age. We组织小队，在班里头实行一些志愿者，然后出去可以捡垃圾，这样来环保。我以前就是很爱乱丢垃圾，今天我就自觉地把垃圾扔到了垃圾桶里。我要是我看见别人这样的像我以前做的话，我
要在法子自然灾害了嘛，就是能大家都平平安安嘛，健健康康的一起生活嘛。不管是家人还是朋友，就是嘛，我也感谢你们这么样来，看、嗯、下我们家的情况，再关心一下我们，嗯，了解一下。The Green Lung March is committed to the long-term recovery of the local communities. The Sichuan National Treasures Team will support local education and training programs, helping to restore safety and self-sufficiency in the lives of earthquake survivors. From the beginning, the Green Lung March has attracted positive media attention from a variety of sources, both nationally and internationally. Everyone has heard about the Chinese Red Army's Long March 70 years ago, but now there's a Green Long March started by environmental protection enthusiasts on college campuses. July marks the beginning of the annual two-week student march along 10 routes across China covering 23 provinces. Along the march, the students will cross over 10 ecological zones, from the grasslands of Inner Mongolia, to the rainforests of Yunnan, to the high plateaus of the Tibet Autonomous Region. As they march, the students continue their educational campaigns for the environment, in public plazas, in parks, in schools, orphanages, and even on trains. One very important aspect of the march are the surveys that are conducted along each of the routes. The students go into villages and ask the villagers to talk about their conservation successes, and these successes are documented in the first nationwide database of its kind. Fifty of the best environmental projects conducted during the 2007 survey will be uplifted and replicated for years to come. Another new initiative of the Green Law March 2008 is the survey on green enterprises. Students along each route will be documenting environmental best practices in companies along the way. This multifaceted approach of the Green Long March is a very powerful vehicle for creating a new generation of environmental leaders who will be the ones to build a more sustainable future for China.